Amy. Amy, can you hear us? Come on, Amy. Pull through this. Wake up. We all miss you so much, Amy. What? What happened? Who are you? Amy, surely you recognize your own mother and father. Just thank Jehoshaphat you're all right, Amy. Funerals are expensive. I'm sorry, I don't know who any of you are at all. Oh, Amy! It's okay. <laughs> Remain calm. I think I know what this is all about. Doc, <clears throat> you don't think the accident made her even stupider, do you? No, it's not that. It's just a hunch, but I believe that, as a result of her accident, young Amy here has an acute case of amnesia. Amnesia? Wait, <gasps> hold still. There. That should do it. I don't remember anything. Anything at all. How badly was I hurt? Bad. Real bad. Is this a dentist's office? I think you better take it easy for a while, Amy. Amnesia's pretty kooky stuff, medically speaking. You don't understand. It's not the accident that I don't remember or the moment before. It's... I don't remember anything that I've ever done in my entire life. Yes. I know it's a little problematic. Doctor, will she ever regain her memory? I mean, is there an inexpensive cure? That depends. If the brain damage is minimal, she'll recover rather quickly. However, if the patient has experienced many significant life changes recently, the memory has a tendency to rebel against these changes and make the amnesia more severe. <laughs> well, that would explain a lot. Amy's been under a lot of stress lately. We just moved here to Los Angeles. California is a very strange place. Yes. Yes, it is. Well, the good news is you're more likely to recover at home, in familiar surroundings. So I'm going to go ahead and discharge you. Now, Scoot, off you go. Take a spoonful of Dimetap before bed, and you'll be back to normal before you know it. Thank you, Doctor. I don't know what we would have done if we'd lost our little Amy. She's our only child. Yes. Thank you. Hmm? If you'd have kept her in here one more night, my insurance rates would have skyrocketed. Hmm? Ciao! Bet you don't remember this either, huh? I paid 80 grand for this baby just before I knocked up your mother. <laughs> your dinner. Come on, eat your spinach, Amy. It'll help build memory strength. I'm not very hungry. Besides, I don't think spinach is my thing. Nonsense. It's your favorite. Have some more. Yeah, well, first thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to call a lawyer to sue the balls off the driver that broadsided you. Tricycle or not, he should have looked before he turned. Calm down, Frank. At least we have our daughter back, and that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any idea what this is going to do to our insurance premiums? Mom? Dad? I know this is going to sound really weird, but I just have this feeling that something is really, really wrong. That's ridiculous. Lots of girls your age recover from life-threatening comas in two hours, like you did. If there was something wrong, you guys would tell me, right? Of course we would. We're your parents. We love you very, very much, Michelle. What did you call me? Uh, Michelle. That's your name. Oh, my baby. Frank, she doesn't even remember her name. I thought you said my name was Amy. Of course we did, Amy. Yes. How silly of us not to tell you. <clears throat> Michelle is your middle name. And we call you that from time to time. Amy Michelle Smith, named after your grandmother. Yeah. And it didn't cost any extra to put the middle name on the birth certificate either. Oh. It'll all come back to you in time, Michelle. Little details will make you remember things. At least that's what Dr. Ebrick said. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor. I don't know what we would have done if we'd lost our little Amy. 
She's our only child. So when does Joey get back from church camp? Joey? Yeah, you know, Joey, my younger brother. At least I remember him. He was screaming when he went off to church camp because he was saying, Mom, I don't want to go. They're going to make me sing Kumbaya. But I'll bet you when he comes back, he's going to have a big smile on his face, quoting songs from the Bible. <laughs> That's our Joey. Joey, of course. He'll be back from camp next Monday. Yeah, he better be. Because that little shit's got a birthday coming up, and I want that free meal from Denny's. I don't have a younger brother named Joey. Back at the hospital, you said that I was an only child. Who are you? What do you want? Now, Michelle, calm down. You've had a rough day. The accident. Ugh! Not even a single bruise! I wasn't in an accident, was I? Michelle, you're being irrational. Don't touch me! Let's just talk this through. Do you want me to whip up some chocolate chip cookies? Mm. They're your favorite. No, I said don't touch me! Restrain her! No! Let go of me! Have I been kidnapped? Is that what you guys are? Are you kidnappers? Let go of me! I don't know who I am, but I know I'm somebody important, and when they come looking for me, you're gonna be sorry! What the hell? Okay. We're sorry we have to use force, Michelle, but trust us, it's for your own good. Come on, sport, tucky tucky. Once this is all behind us, I'll buy you an ice cream cone. If they're on special. Just remember, we love you, Michelle. It's Amy. Amy, Michelle, whatever sounds right to you. Hang in there, kiddo. Head. Someone sure had a rough night last night. Yeah, about that. Um, I'm really sorry about that. I was the accident and all. I wasn't sure what was real and not real, and I'm feeling much better now. Would you guys mind helping me up? I'm still feeling a little bit weak. Of course, Betty. Here you go. Oh! Caitlin! Caitlin, come back! Veronica Ray Jones, you get back here now! I don't know who you are, but stay away from me! Come on. I know exactly what's going on. They locked us up in the laboratory. So no one would be able to tell you what happened. <laughs> but I escaped. You don't remember me, do you? My name's Blake. I was with you when it happened. When what happened? All the answers you need are in here. Just trust me. Look. 
Michelle. Michelle, can you hear us? Come on, Michelle, pull through this. Wake up. We all miss you so much, Michelle. So you see, in actuality, all of this is occurring inside your head while you're lying there in a coma. In which case, it wouldn't be an actuality at all now, would it? <laughs> so when I wake up, I, all of this will be gone and I'll know who I am again? What kind of bullshit you filling this poor kid's head up with now, crackhead? There you go, baby. Now take a look. What is all this? Who died? Man, did Sesame Street really make all kids from your generation that retarded? It's your funeral. You're not in a coma. You didn't survive that accident. You're dead. D-E-D. -E so if I'm dead, is this heaven? Uh-uh, child. You in hell. H-E-L. Remember when you were 11? and you ruined your parents' toaster oven because you thought that was how you made grilled cheese sandwiches and you blamed it on the neighbor kid? God isn't as forgiving as you might think. No, I don't remember anything at all. Oh, cut it out, Audrey. You're not in hell, Winnie. Although the radio stations here do play country music. No, this is sort of an in-between place, like, um, limbo. Awaiting purgatory. I'm telling you, God isn't as forgiving as you might think when it comes to toaster ovens. You guys are confusing me even more. I can't handle this. My name is Amy. Amy! Please, somebody help me remember who I am and why I'm here. You. You can help me. Can you help me? Please, you have to tell me who I am. My name is... Michelle! I mean, my name is Amy! No, actually, it's Melanie. At least that's the name they put on the tombstone. Please, just leave me alone! Call continuity control. I think this one's got to go back for your process. Susan. Susan, can you hear us? Come on, Susan. Pull through this. Wake up. We all miss you so much, Susan. Where am I now? Just relax, Susan. You've had a little relapse. You've become disoriented and weren't sure what was real and what wasn't. But you're okay now. You're going to be just fine. Boom! Squadron Leader Joey, flying in to rescue Susie. Joey, settle down. You're gonna hurt yourself. Get better, Susie. Pew! Pew! Squadron Leader Joy just sent a memory remember laser in your direction, Susie. Pew! 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 Susan, you really need to take it easy. Stay home. Rest. I assure you what you're going through is perfectly normal. You're not delusional. Now, Julie, 
Don't you think your little games are starting to get rather silly? Kumbaya, my lord! Kumbaya! Kumbaya, my lord! You've got to stop all this identity crisis business, young lady. Whatever's wrong, be sure of this. You're not crazy, do you understand? Okay. Now, get some sleep, Cindy. Hmm? Good night, whoever you are. We recognize you even with all that reconstructive plastic surgery. We're here to rescue, sister. Now keep your head down. Lead the way. We work for no one. Amen to that, brother! Second! Even if we were government agents, we wouldn't tell you anyway. Ain't that right, Patch? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, Scout, cut the charade. We rescued you. We know you've been inside their fortress. Tell us the secret code. What secret code? Don't play stupid Ow! with me, Amanda! Uh, I don't... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about! The code! What? The secret formula for the Hydro Roller card we sent you to retrieve! I don't know what... What? Don't tell me you've been working as a double agent. What? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no! No, wait, 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 wait! Oh, yeah. I don't... Yeah. It's not who I was! I don't know who I am anymore! I have amnesia! Amnesia, how convenient. No, not really. We'll see if we can't jog that unreliable memory of yours with a little instant breakfast persuasion. Be. 
except you! You with the cloak! Who's been following me around? I bet you can tell me something pretty profound! Please! What happened to me? Help me! Back off, creep! Well, that's the way you feel about it. We're out of here. Come on, guys! Some people can be so ungrateful. Back up when you leave, will you? It's your stupid hideout. Well, keep it. Everyone seems to know about it already anyway, somehow. So you see, the memory loss is a result of chemicals that have been diluted into the stream of the city's drinking water. Phosphate. Yeah, phosphates and stuff. It's, it's all part of the master plan. The government is running an experiment on you to find out exactly how long you can go without your own identity before your mind snaps in two. You're like a human guinea pig. Shut up. Shut up. Or the two of you just shut up. This is my hideout now! I say leave! What do we do if the fuzz finds out we squealed? There's no government conspiracy! There's no phosphates in the drinking water! Now, bye bye We tried. Okay, there was this UFO, no. and it took you to their home ah. planet so that, no. you know, you oh. won't remember the whole... I'm not listening to you! La 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 Probing bit. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna count to 11, and this is all gonna be over. It's just gonna be a bad dream, and everything's gonna be back to normal, and it's gonna be fine, and I'm gonna know who I am. All right, I'm closing my eyes now. One, two. Go away! I think it's about time we tell you what this is all really about, Jessica. I know this is difficult for you, but you must believe me. You were born in a test tube. One of many different babies with the exact same DNA. There are hundreds of women out there that look just like us roaming the earth. Are you saying that I'm a clone? Part of a scheme from some scientists with a god complex and a lot of offshore research funding. When it started out, there were only seven of us. Well, eight, if you count the Siamese twins, but... They wanted to take it further. Well, they cloned us clones, and then they made clones of those clones, and then clones of those clones, and then clones of those clones, but eventually they discovered a problem. You know how when you copy a videotape, as you go, the quality gets worse and worse? Generation loss. Exactly. So by the eighth generation, you're a batch, the girls couldn't remember anything for very long and became paranoid. Even in some cases, they would go insane. So they started setting them up in foster homes and they would set up spies to give them disinformation so you would never know what role you were supposed to play in the battle ahead. All I really am then... is a copy. Of a copy. Of a copy. And so on. Kind of eerie, isn't it? You can say that again. No, wait, don't. You're gonna give me a headache. Me too. Some of us managed to escape with the secret files and we went looking for others. Others like you. You must come with us quickly. <sighs> Bus is leaving. Feds are on their way. Hurry up! Ugly. Their generations are always a little testy. Well, it's been swell talking to me. I'm really glad we got all this cleared up. Wait, where are you going? To the compound, Vicky, where the others await our arrival and the great clone revolution can begin. It'll all come back to you once you meet the others. I can't be a clone. I'm sorry, but I refuse to believe that. Clones don't exist. Well, present company excluded. You're very nihilistic, you know that? You reject everything people tell you. No, I don't. Suit yourself. But we will meet in Albuquerque when the new age of clones dawns and the world will be ours again. I'm not a clone. I'm not a clone.
Just an elaborate delusion unfolding within your subconscious mind, Wendy. It's not real! Remember to eat your spinach, Karen. Oh, you'll never make a living with that attitude. Monica, destined to lie in your bed comatose for the rest of your life, accomplishing nothing! Clueless ass people with your Sesame Street generation, none of you have any heroes anymore because all of your heroes have died! Please, lady, can you spare an arm? If you hand over the secret formula to the Hydro Orlicon, we can give you a new identity. I don't know who you are, but I'm not any of those things! Groggily, her eyes refocus and she realizes she's sitting down in a dentist chair. This is me. This is my life. She realizes, reading aloud from this very journal, that she is nothing more than a character in a story. And a pretty lame story at that. She's no one. From no time from nowhere. There's been no accident, no government cover-up, no clones, none of that happened. Because her character didn't exist before page one of this story. Amy starts to break down because she realizes that if she didn't exist before the story began, then she would no longer exist after the story ends. And now she's on the last page. And she is slowly erased out of the narrative. No! No! I miss you! I miss you! I miss you!